Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Shopify's new update related to product variants. This update allows us to manage product variant options ourselves. I will show you how this works, what the update is, and what its benefits are. Let's proceed and move to the admin panel. I've now opened my store's admin panel, and here, I'll show you how this update works and what benefits it offers. First, you need to open the product section. Once you open the product section, go to the variant section, and there you'll see some meta fields already available in Shopify that help display variants, such as options for color, size, and material. For example, if you are adding a t-shirt to your website, Shopify already provides inbuilt options like short sleeve or long sleeve. However, there are certain options that you might want to manage yourself which are unique to your site. For instance, I've created options like with holder and without holder for my product. These are options I have added myself. Such unique options can be managed manually by creating and adding custom options. The problem arises when you have to add these options individually to each product. If you make a mistake, you'll have to edit the variant options for each product one by one. This becomes a lengthy process, especially if you have multiple products or variants. For instance, if a product has 10 variants, you will have to edit all 10, and this takes a lot of time. To address this issue, Shopify has introduced an update that allows us to manage product variant options as meta objects. With this feature, you can create and manage meta objects at the product level. If you add another option here, all the meta objects created at your product level will be displayed here. For example, go to settings and add a meta object. Let's create a meta object named var with a single line text option and save it. And then assign it to a product. You can name whatever you like, but you need to select it as a meta object. Once created, select the meta object and choose list of entries and save it. After creating a meta object, add entries to it. Like I have created three entries named red, blue, and black. Once you've added these entries, you can use them as variants to add a variant to your meta object. Open any product in the admin panel. Add another option. Select the meta object you created. In the add value section, all the entries you created will appear. Add these entries and save them. When you preview the product, you'll see the variants displayed. For instance, if the meta object you created is named var, it will display along with the entries you added, such as red, blue, and black. If an entry is out of stock, it will show as sold out. You can create as many entries as you want and assign them to products whenever needed. If there's a mistake in any entry like a spelling error, you don't need to edit each product individually. Simply go to the meta object and correct the entry. The update will reflect across all products where this meta object is used. For example, if you change black to white, the change will apply to all products. Let's refresh the page. Now you can see changes here. This update is especially useful for stores with products that have many variants, as it saves time and effort. You can create the entries once and manage them centrally. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.